What's up, you guys? I am back with another Q&A where you ask the questions and I do my very best to give you answers. So if we have not met before, my name is Cass, Cass Brad Art, Cassie Bratton, really totally up to you. I am a figure artist, so yes, I paint women's bodies for a living. Um, if you haven't seen my work, feel free to check out my website, my Instagram, my YouTube, shorts, my TikTok page. Um, you can find me, oh, Twitter. Uh, you can find me pretty much everywhere. Yeah, let's um, jump right into some questions. I've got some good ones for you guys today. So the first question, um, these are kind of two with the same answer. So do you ever get uncalled for a judgment from other people? If so, what did they say and how do you respond? And the other one is, are you ever made fun for these sorts of paintings? Unfortunately, yes, a hundred percent. I deal with a lot of hate. Um, that is pretty much just, I feel like a consequence of putting yourself online and putting yourself out there. Um, there's always gonna be people who disagree with you or, you know, are gonna share their opinion and it is what it is. I think that kind of happens with everything. Um, it's pretty unavoidable. So I do my best though, just to focus on the positive because I do have so many amazing positive people in my community and it's really like a nine to one ratio of good people and, you know, people who just aren't as excited about my work and feel like they need to tell me that they don't like it. I also have experienced this in real life for sure i think probably because i paint naked people you can tell that people sometimes are not comfortable with that or the idea of that and you know often when people are uncomfortable their first reaction is to laugh um which can be kind of hurtful um, especially when it is art and you are expressing yourself or, um, you know, trying to lift other people up and, and if people are laughing at you, then, you know, that's not always the easiest thing to deal with. But um, again, it's just, it's just staying true to yourself and, and knowing why you're doing what you are doing and being passionate about that and not letting anyone else's opinion get in the way of that. So yeah. Next questions I really like. Um, I got a few of these too. Do you hang the paintings in your house? And if so, what do people say about it? Um, and do you usually sell your art or do you prefer to keep it in your house? So I actually do not hang any of my personal art in my home. I don't know why. I don't have a lot of things on my walls. I think it's because I spend so much of my day trying to be super creative my apartment is small, it's a two bedroom. If I'm sitting here watching TV and I have a painting up on the wall, my artist mind cannot help but look at that and think like, ooh, I could recreate this or I'm getting inspiration this way or whatever. Like I would rather literally just have blank walls. Like I have a mirror, that's pretty much it. That's on my walls if I showed you my apartment. <laughs> I don't have any art in my home. I don't hang my art in my home. Um, and that's probably for the best. Sometimes I'll have like a finished piece up and a delivery man comes in and you know, I always forget to preface or like, uh, you know, you don't really need to preface, but then they leave and I'm like, oh, I had like a giant nudie in my front. Like, should I have said, you know, I'm like, I wonder what they, what they thought of that. To answer your question, no, I sell all of my art. If it doesn't sell, it sits in my studio and faces the wall. Um, I'm just, I don't know if that's a normal artist thing to do or if that's just like unique and I'm funny like that, but yeah, no. Okay, I love this next question. It's imagine yourself in 10 years, what do you see? I honestly don't know. It's definitely working for myself. It's hopefully being a famous rich artist and, and painting every day. And um, you know, I think, I think that's, my biggest dream is painting exactly what I want to paint rather than being a commission artist and painting what other people liked, want me to paint. 
Um, I get a little bit of a balance with that right now, but most of my income as an artist comes from commission art, which is amazing. I love working with all of my clients, but I do think end game is painting exactly what I want to paint and having people buy that and being like financially, you know, fruitful with ex producing exactly what I want to produce and not what other people want or are expecting, if that makes sense. The next question is, do I ever get to see someone's reaction to the painting reveal? Um, so unfortunately not. I, because most of my work is based online and I work with so many clients that um, are not physically close to me, I don't get to do the painting reveals in person. And to touch on the process of my paintings, I sell the painting or sell the commission and we go back and forth, you know, they send me the reference photo, they tell me the colors, the vision, we have this discussion and we kind of meet somewhere in the middle where we're happy with. I do the piece, I then, once it's finished, send it back to them, basically just to make sure that they're happy and that they like it uh, before I mail it to them. So just because of like the physical distancing, um, it doesn't really help me in any way, so I don't usually get to see the reactions, but sometimes my, my people that I work with are amazing and they film their reactions and, you know, from, from what I have received from my clients, it is just the most amazing, amazing thing. It really, truly is like what keeps me going as an artist is knowing what an impact I I make on these women. Okay, the next question is how do you view the human body? I don't have any other answer to this other than beautiful. I truly think that all shapes and sizes are beautiful. Um, that is why I do the work that I do. And um, I think that's what makes my work so special um, to me and to my clients. My work focuses primarily on the shape of the body. So I've had a lot of people ask me about like painting body hair or painting tattoos and piercings. And, you know, if it's a special request from the client, I'm happy to accommodate. Um, but at the end of the day, the intention of my work is to celebrate the shape of the body. Personally, the focus and the study of my art is on the shape or the form of the human body, which I think is beautiful. This next question is quite funny. It's, have you painted your friends or is that a boundary that you won't cross? <laughs> Originally, when I started out, um, you know, my circle or my follower base was quite small and it really did consist of friends and family. And um, if you go watch my previous Q&A video, um, you'll be able to find how I started painting news or painting people's images. And, um, you know, I started with photos from the internet and then I the next step was reaching out to my follower base and, and asking for reference photos, you know, if they were comfortable with sending them. And yes, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my friends, a lot of people that I know, a whole lot of people that I know sent me their images, which was amazing, you know, for it was strictly artistic purposes and, and they were on board to help out and to um, celebrate their own body I'm sure and get something out of it for themselves and 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 so that was really special friends thumbs up family weird crosses a line crosses a bit of a line okay those are all of the questions I'm gonna answer today I have a ton more that I still need to answer for you guys so please check back, come back next week. There'll be another Q&A posted. Um, thank you so, so much for your support, for your love, for your kindness. Um, again, my name is Cass or Cassie. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Um, if you have any other additional questions, please just drop them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to try and get through all of these questions and answer them for you guys. But thank you so much for listening and we'll chat soon.